Hi, we had a drill request all the way from Mike in Mesa, Arizona. His son actually won one of our true players hats doing the Jim Tony drill. Uh, Mike was asking me, yeah, his son has a tendency to step in the bucket when he's hitting, which is a very, very common thing for kids uh, at the youth level especially. So we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways to, to work with that. So what I've done here is I've put a couple of boards down. Uh, again, we need to be creative at this time in the backyard or in the garage or whatever. Uh, we can use broomsticks, we can use bats, but what I've done is I've put a couple of boards down to show the correct path that our feet want to make when we're, we're going to our contact point. So. From this position right here, the quieted, uh, quieter we are as a hitter, the less I have a chance of stepping on the bucket or stepping onto the plate. So with the boards right here, it's just going to show me the proper path. I want to be quiet right through my hitting zone here. So my feet are in position here. I'm going to load. I'm going to hit back through the middle. We'll do that one more time. Get my feet set in between my boards right here. Nice and quiet, load. Another drill we can work on when talking about stepping in the bucket is what I call the heel lift drill. So when we're working with hitters, what we do know is we wanna go back before we go forward with some type of a weight transfer. So how we do that is completely up to the hitter. But if you notice, if I have a big leg kick, my weight is going back, okay? If I'm more of a knee flick guy, I still have weight going back, but if I simply lift my front heel, I've got weight, weight going back before I go forward. So I'm a big believer in how you feel as a hitter. So what I like to do with young hitters that step in the bucket is I want to show them the minimal movement they can do just to have a simple weight transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my feet both on the ground just like this and all I'm going to do for my load is I'm going to lift my heel and I'm going to keep my feet on the ground. So you notice I've got weight going back so when I lift my heel Here's my loaded position, I'll hit back through the middle, I'll do that one more time. Make sure the hitter's feet are staying on the ground, it doesn't give them an opportunity to step in the bucket. So feet in normal position, all I'm going to do, lift my front heel, 